All right, let me get this off real quick. Hey guys, what's up? Pablo here and in this video I'm going to talk about the best career that you can get into after the corona crisis as an IT professional. So without further ado, let's start the video. Have you ever wondered what life looks like through the eyes of a computer hacker? Have you ever wanted to learn the skill sets to hack just about anything? My name is Pablo and I've acquired these skills. As an ethical hacker, I hack just about anything I can find. Allow me to take you on a journey through the world of cybersecurity to teach you everything it takes to become a successful computer hacker. Ready? Let's go! Alright, so we're all familiar with Corona, right? I mean, now we have to wear these masks on the public transport. We need to make sure that we're at least two meters away from other people in order not to spread the disease. Now, as bad as the pandemic was, it also has its upsides. You see, because companies still wanted to work during the pandemic, they had to look for other options. And one of these options were, of course, working from home. I mean, it was promoted everywhere. Like Microsoft Teams has seen a huge increase in traffic since the corona crisis happening. So this means that everyone that was working in a classic office is now working from home, which means that there's a lot of VPN tunnels that need to be configured and all this stuff needs to be configured by IT people like you and I. Now, of course, the fact that there's so many people working from home also means that there's a lot more attack vectors for hackers to go and hack the systems of companies because the more endpoints you have the more people that you have in different homes they're connecting to the office the more dangerous it becomes because there's more ways for a hacker to get access to an organization so just like there's IT people that need to configure this you know network administrators they need to be people that go ahead and secure these endpoints because again the more endpoints you have the more hackers can go and hack into the systems and the most important thing to a company is of course that their money and their company data stays secure. The second point is also that since the corona pandemic started, there has been an increase in cyber attacks on companies. Like right when the lockdown started, which is uh, about three months ago now, I actually saw a newspaper article here in the local news that said that there has been an increase of at least 50% in cyber attacks on companies which is not all that weird. You see, these hackers or these malicious cyber criminals, they're people just like you and I. They have a normal, regular day job and they do their malicious hacking on the side in order to make more money. But now these people are locked into their homes so they have a load of time and no money. So what do they do? They just go ahead and do more criminal activity in order to pay the bills and just, you know, spend their time doing something at least. Now, by the time I'm recording this video, everything's already loosening up a bit. I mean, the bars opened, we can travel again starting next week. So everything is going to be fine. Yet, a lot of companies are still in this corona mindset where they're now going to be more flexible about having people working online. So this means that the industry in cybersecurity is growing tremendously. I mean, it was already growing, but now since corona, it's skyrocketing. So it's literally the best career that you can get into. Me as a cybersecurity professional myself, I didn't really notice anything about Corona. I mean, sure, I had to stay home, but I've been working from home anywhere. I mean, all I need is my laptop in order to do my penetration tests, but I've been doing them from across Europe all the time. I mean, I love to travel myself. So being able to work from wherever I want was literally somewhat of a dream of me. Now, of course, during this whole lockdown, there has been a division of types of people, right? There has been people that were watching Netflix all the time, playing video games. I mean, watching the first season of Tiger King. Um, I know that that was something super big, but there's another part of people that actually use this time in order to invest in themselves. Because here's the thing, if you invest in yourself, that's an investment nobody can ever take from you. I mean, people can take your apartment from you, they can take your TV, they can take your PS5, but they will never be able to take the knowledge that you have downloaded for yourself in your brain. And most likely, these are the people that are going to come out of this lockdown in the best way possible. They're going to have an entirely new skill set that they can go ahead and market to the job market and make 
a lot more money with that. So following this logic, I've created something special. I've created a mentoring program in which I teach people how to become a cybersecurity professional, whether it is a bug bounty hunter, a freelancer, or a consultant working for a company, we can help you out. I've been in the field for over five years now, so I know the ins and outs. I have a team of consultants that is going to help you with every single step of the game, whether it is learning hacking or getting the career, we can help you out. So I'm offering during this pandemic or after this pandemic, I'm offering free calls in order to help you get your career started because I truly believe that educating yourself after a pandemic like this is the best thing that you can do for your life because not only are you going to have new skills, you're going to make a lot more money and you're going to just come out of this in a better way. So if this is something that you're interested in, go to the link in the description below, it's my website, where you can get some more information about the program and you can book a free consultation call with me or one of my coaches. They're going to assess your situation, they're going to see if and how we can help you and the call is entirely for free because I truly, truly believe that educating is the solution to all this. Now, if we decide to work together in the long term, that's fine. If not, then at least you got some free value out of the call. So link is in the description. If you just want to hang out with uh, other like-minded people, I also have a Facebook group in which you can talk to other people that want to get a career in cybersecurity and exchange some ideas that way so we can create a nice big community of cybersecurity professionals. And the last but not least, if you like this video or you want to see more, I'm going to post some hacking tutorials in the future, go ahead and click that subscribe button. There's a little bell icon, uh, bell icon on the side, just click that and you will get notified whenever I put up a new video. So that's it for me. I see you in the next video, bye.